So in the last class, uh, what we discussed in the last class, my dear students, in the last class, what in this we module, you will learn about nucleus. In the last class, what we discussed? Nucleus. Nucleus. Okay. See about the parts of a cell. See, next one is parts of the cell. Parts of the cell. Take down parts of the cell. Parts of the cell. Parts of the cell. See, the cell contains the cell contains cell contains cell membrane nucleus and cytoplasm the cell contains cell membrane nucleus and a cytoplasm okay now have a look have a look into the uh, slides so cell made of here is a eukaryotic cell. The cell comprises of the plasma membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. My dear students, what is the role of plasma membrane? In the last class I have given the points. What is plasma membrane? What is the use of plasma membrane my dear students? Sir, plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins. Yes, plasma. Sir, it is responsible giving a shape. Yes, very good, very well said, my dear students. Plasma membrane is made up of yes, made up of lipoproteins. like material. Yes, lipoproteins, and it is responsible for the shape of the cell. Yes, very good, very good. And see next. Look at this cell. The outermost covering which is non-living and rigid is called the cell wall. cell wall it is seen only in a plant cell okay my dear students the cell wall is seen only in a dash cell what is your answer plant cell plant yes. cell very good very good plant cell. cell wall we can see only in the dash cell plant cell yes plant, plant cell. cell it may be asked for uh, one marks it may be asked for one marks questions okay it separates the cell contents from the surroundings and gives shape and protection to the cell. It is composed of cellulose and is permeable. The cell is covered by an outer membrane called the plasma membrane. It is a living membrane made of lipoproteins. The plasma membrane is selectively permeable as it allows the movement of some substances in and out of the cell. The different ways in which the substances move through the plasma membrane are diffusion and osmosis. My dear students, please take down this point. The different ways in which the substance moves through the plasma membrane are diffusion and osmosis. The different ways in which the substances, the different ways different ways in which the substance moves through the plasma membrane are diffusion and osmosis
ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर यू हियरिंग माय वॉइस आर यू हियरिंग माय वॉइस यस सर ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सी प्लीज इन प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन सी द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज मेड अप ऑफ लिपोप्रोटीन ओके द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज मेड अप ऑफ लिपो protein lipoprotein yes lipids as well as the proteins how it will be how it will be moves the question is from the plasma membrane the plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins how it will move in the cell so by the diffusion and osmosis so diffusion means what the spreading diffusion means what spreading diffusion, spreading yes diffusion means what spreading diffusion means spreading more widely spreading more widely spreading more widely okay next please take down so diffusion means spreading more widely Sir, we can't see the screen. No. Sir, we can't yes, see. Sir. sir, we can see now. Can see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is seen now. It is visible. The spontaneous movement of gases, this like carbon dioxide and oxygen. from a region of high concentration which is substance substance is moved through the plasma okay next okay. plasma membrane are diffusion and osmosis the spontaneous movement of gaseous substances like carbon dioxide and oxygen from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration to form homogeneous solutions through diffusion please take down this point diffusion the spontaneous movement it means continuous movement of gaseous substance substance region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration is called as diffusion the spontaneous movement of a gaseous substance from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration is called as diffusion okay see my dear students the how the plasma the nutrients in the plasma membrane how it will be uh, circulate in the boundaries of the cell in the center of the cell how come it is means the spontaneous movement by the spontaneous movement of the gaseous substance from a region of higher concentration to the lower concentration is called as diffusion by the using of diffusion and say next one is osmosis osmosis is vice versa from a lower concentration to the higher concentration with the help of semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane the spontaneous movement of a gaseous substance from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration is called as diffusion take down diffusion okay the diffusion of solvent molecules through a semi permeable membrane from a region of low concentration to high concentration is called osmosis take down this osmosis definition diffusion of a solvent molecules through a semi permeable membrane from a region from a region of lower concentrated solution to a region of higher concentrated solution is called osmosis
Sir, can't see the screen, sir. Sir, cannot see. Can't see the sir, screen. Sir, we cannot see. Sir, we can't see the screen. Sir, we cannot see the screen, sir. Sir, we cannot see the screen, sir. No. No, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, we can see now. Diffusion of solvent molecules through a semi-permeable membrane from a region of lower concentrated solution to a region of higher concentrated solution is called as osmosis. So here the solution is a dissolved substance and solvent is water. Solution means water plus a dissolved uh, substance and solvent means it's a water. Let's try these ways through an experiment. See, See what happens when the observe this experiment. Observe this experiment. cell is placed in salt solution. One of these three things could happen now. If the medium surrounding the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell, the cell gains water by osmosis and swells. Such a solution is known as hypotonic solution. The has the same water concentration as the cell. Please mute your audios. Please mute your audios. Mute your audios. Just listen. Listen. Jawad, mute your audio, please. There is no net movement of water through the membrane and the cell stays the same size. See, my dear students, here uh, animal cell has taken, it is taken in the glass beaker and that is immersed in the salt. Hello? That is immersed in the salt water, hence it is called as a hypotonic solution. So some water concentration as cell, see, the salt solution, this is called Such as Such a solution, solution is known as isotonic solution. If the medium has a lower concentration of water than the cell, the cell loses water by osmosis and then shrinks. Such a solution is known as hypertonic solution. Hypertonic solution has a low water concentration than the cell. Hypo. Hypo means what? Higher. Hypertonic solution has a lower water concentration than the cell. So this is the differences between hypotonic and hypertonic. Please take them. Hypotonic write the differences between write the differences between hypotonic 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 let it be no problem you are you hearing my voice sir okay take down hypotonic solution hypotonic solution has has hypotonic h y p o hypotonic solution hypotonic solution has lower osmotic pressure hypotonic solution has lower osmotic pressure
hypotonic solution has lower osmotic pressure next hyper hyper hypertonic solution hypertonic solution hyper hypertonic solution hypertonic solution has greater concentration of solutes hypertonic solution has a greater concentration of solutes the greater solution of hypertonic solution hypertonic solution has a greater concentration of solutes solutes on the outside on the outside of a cell see in the chat box see in the chat box hypertonic solution has a greater concentration of solutes on the outside of a cell When the cell loses water through osmosis, the cell contents shrink away from the cell wall. This is known as plasmolysis. Look into the cell. The spherical structure in the cell is called nucleus. nucleus. This is the control center of the cell. Yes, take down the nucleus is the control center of the cell. Take down. Nucleus is the control center of the cell. Nucleus is the, the control nucleus center of the cell. The nucleus has a nuclear membrane, which is double layered. The nuclear membrane is perforated to allow substances to enter and leave the nucleus. The nucleus contains chromosomes. Chromosomes contain hereditary information and are composed of deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and proteins. Functional segments of DNA are called genes. The nucleus plays a major role in cell division. It also controls cell development. The fluid living content between the plasma membrane and the nucleus is called cytoplasm. The nucleus My dear students, again please are what, called please please understand what is cytoplasm. Genes. The nucleus plays a major role in cell division. Nucleus plays a major role in the cell division. It also can Nucleus plays a major role in the cell division. It controls cell development. And it also controls the cell element. The fluid living content between the plasma the membrane and the nucleus is called cytoplasm. The nucleus along with the cytoplasm makes up the living content of the cell called protoplasm. Protoplasm. See? is along with the cytoplasm membrane and the nucleus is called cytoplasm. The nucleus along with the cytoplasm makes up the living content of the cell. Nucleus along with the cytoplasm is called as protoplasm. Once again I will repeat. Called protoplasm. Yes, nucleus along with the cytoplasm is called as protoplasm. Nucleus along with the cytoplasm is called as protoplasm. 
okay nucleus is along with the cytoplasm called as protoplasm a closer look at the cytoplasm reveals a clear and the cytoplasm is a clear thick jelly like material with water organic compounds and organelles organelles cytoplasm is clear very clear and we have very thick jelly like material how to identify see my dear students the question may arise us like this how to identify the cytoplasm in the cell and you have to write the cytoplasm is a clear thick jelly material with water and organic compounds along with the organic compounds it will it is composed cytoplasm is like a clear thick jelly material with water organic compounds and organelles Oh. Thick. Jelly-like material with water, organic compounds, and organelles. jelly like material with water organic compounds and organelles the liquid part of the cytoplasm other than the organelles is called cytosol cytoplasm supports and protects the cell organelles that perform different metabolic functions in this module you learned that the cell is the fundamental and structural unit of life the plasma membrane is selectively permeable as it allows the movement of some substances in and out of the cell the nucleus controls cell division and cell development the cytoplasm is a clear thick jelly like material with water organic compounds and organelles okay my dear students and next so organelles in plants and animal cell this i will continue in the next class okay so if you have any doubts please contact me and our or else so you can upload the question to my personal number okay if you have any doubt yes, friends please uh, message me in the in my personal number okay to my personal number yes, sir uh, so have a nice day children thank you bye thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir